he, he he's he's touted as like the next heavyweight champ. Is he though? For the and the next heavyweight prospect, especially in America. I'm not even sure he's the he's he's the best prospect in America, man. I would lean towards Richard Torres Jr. What did he say? Oh. Darren Anderson said that Daniel Dubois fights are boring. Excuse me, say what? Are boring. Come again, say what? Are boring. Boring. Shut up, bitch. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and the Empress. Gotta get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Hey, so check this out, man. We, um, first off, happy, happy new week to you. I know it started yesterday, man. Happy Sunday. I didn't tap in and get to tell y'all happy Sunday. So happy Monday. Hold on. Let me walk to the other side of the, side of the yard because my, one of my neighbors on this side is, uh, doing some lawn maintenance. Um, but yeah, so I want to talk about Jared Anderson. You know, we had we, this this uh, this past weekend on Saturday, we saw Jared Anderson, Big Baby, go against uh, <laughs> Big Baby or uh, Big Shitty. Hey yo, what the fuck? As a uh, Gervonta Take Davis so eloquently called him. <laughs> um, you know, we saw uh, Jared Anderson go against Riyad Mirai. Um. Man, you know, I, I and I and I, I really want to like this guy, Jared Anderson. You know, as a, as a heavyweight prospect, but um, he's just his performances have been very lackluster. Boring. You know what I mean? And I don't want to go too hard on him because he did get the win, and you know, but he, he just doesn't do it in an impressive manner. You know, and I was like, I mean, it just it, this fight was just, you know, two of the judges gave him a had a scorecard of 100 to 90, so he cleaned him out, and then one of the score one of the judges gave him. Uh, scored it 99 to 91 and I know it sounds nitpicky but I really want to know what round uh, he gave to Mirai because Mirai didn't win any round to me like, like Mirai also who was his dance partner who was Anderson's dance partner he didn't really bring anything to the table he he was just there to get beat on he was there to get beat on but you know Jared Anderson <laughs> he did not oblige he didn't beat on him like he wanted to he didn't take any risks you know i'm not saying that you should go out there reckless abandon because y'all are heavyweights and one punch can change the fight but you got to want to be entertaining you got to want to be impressive you know you you want to you want to win in, in, in a dominant fashion and as well even though he won dominantly according to the round count he did leave a lasting impression in my mind. matter of fact let me rephrase that he did leave a lasting impression one in which was very boring, boring. you know one day i was like dang i don't want to see that him perform again so i do applaud and credit and credit him for for winning but he didn't win in uh, in any type of fashion that makes me want to see jared anderson again and it, and it kind of makes me it, it makes me it forced me to recall his fight against charles martin you know a former heavyweight champ as well and i just i just remember wanting more out of that fight and and he didn't provide that last night at all you know what i'm saying so uh it is just crazy because i remember him he called uh if i'm if i'm, if I'm not mistaken i believe that jared anderson said that daniel dubois fights are boring what did he say hey. oh. are boring excuse me say what are boring <laughs> shut up bitch <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh. <laughs> what boring what do you think you just did you know what i'm saying so like I don't know, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Um, I want to see Jared Anderson step up the competition, but I don't know if he beats a higher caliber opponent. You know what I'm saying? Like Mariah was there to lose, um, and that's what he did. You know, but if, even when someone's showing up to just to lose and and not doing anything, putting up much of a fight, you still couldn't um, dominate him. You know, in in, in, in the manner in which that we anticipate you would. You know, or we expect that you would. Um, so. I know, I know. Um, I want to see him step in the competition. I'm not saying that he should fight Daniel Dubois because, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Daniel Dubois is already um, scheduled to uh, fight Philip Hergovich. Uh, so that that should be a good fight, a decent fight, action packed fight. And then, um, you know, but if he did fight Daniel Dubois, I, I'm leaning towards Daniel Dubois. I think Daniel Dubois would win. You know, what I'm saying, not saying that Jared, Jared Anderson doesn't have another gear because maybe he just, you know, he just fights down to his opponent. That, that's possible as well. Like if he does, he only does enough to win. Bullshit. You know, but that's not very fan friendly. Um, so maybe he could beat Daniel Dubois, but I'll judge it off of last night, his past performances. I would have to lead towards Daniel Dubois. Um, of course, I'll lead towards Philip Hergovich. He's not ready for him. Um, I, I don't think. Um, 
Um, who else? I would like to see him fight against the winner of uh, Frank Sanchez and the Jake Caballero. I think both of them beat him as well. So I think Danny Dubois beats him. I think Philip Hergovich beats him. I think Jake Caballero and um, and the Frank Sanchez beat him. Almost forgot to mention as well, you know, I know Joseph Parker is available. He doesn't seem like he's doing anything, you know, um, he's just calling out his, uh, his, 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 his uh, the, the people that beat him, you know what I'm saying? Um, he called out uh, Dylan White and Anthony Joshua so far, so he needs an opponent. But I just don't think that Jared Anderson is even ready for Joseph Parker. I think that'd be too much for him. Know your fucking place, trash. Um, you know what's crazy? He, he, he's, he's touted as like the next heavyweight champ. Is he though? For the, the, the next heavyweight prospect especially in America. I'm not even sure he's the he's he's the best prospect in America, man. I would lead towards Richard Torres Jr., especially after seeing last night, because regardless of who wins between them, I know who I'd rather see fight, who's more entertaining, who, <laughs> who, who I'd pay for, and that's Richard Torres Jr., you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I think Big Baby Davis needs to step up his game as far as competition, but also as to, in terms of performance, too, because he's, he's a perfect example of it not being enough to win. You know, you got to want to be desired by the fans. I don't think he does that, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, but I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Man, love y'all for real. And remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Peace. Doctors out. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.